Hey guys and welcome to a little tutorial about a couple of plugins of SPL that I've really come to love. My name is Chris Heil and I'm coming at you from the studio right out of the middle of a production for Rhapsody, a cinematic metal band whose album uh, the Dolby Atmos Experience I'm just about to finish mixing in three-dimensional space. To do that I've come to use a few of the SPL plugins like the Deverb and the Vitalizer, the Mark II Vitalizer, who are really really nifty pieces of gear when it comes to sculpturing those sounds right. For instance, I'm looking at a percussion track, percussion loop track right now, and this track's got some verb on it that I don't really find suitable to make the track fit into my mix. So what I want to do is, you know, just reduce some of the of the ambience that the track's got on it already so as to tighten it up, make it a little drier and make it fit into my mix very nicely. Another track I'm working on is a percussion is a percussion loop from the orchestra part of the record, meaning it's got piatti and cymbals and triangles and God knows what all the bells and whistles that sit in the you know very back of an orchestra but still make a one hell of a record a uh, racket a <laughs> record yeah hopefully so by definition it sounds like a real mess and sometimes it is so in order to get a little clarity into it i'm using the uh, mark ii vitalizer which really helps me spread the whole room and you know open it up nicely control the bottom end by a little low frequency compression and that really really helps you know get a a real sense of of natural natural picture natural sound to sometimes rather dodgy and muffled samples of orchestras so the mark ii vitalizer is your swiss army knife to to get this this kind of sound happening and real clear and punchy out of the great collection of swiss army knives by spl there is another one i've really come to like which is the transient designer plus uh, on this record, I'm using it on a variety of things, amongst which is a harp, you know, the stuff that the guys up above the clouds use a lot. So if you want this harp to cut through the mayhem of guitars and, and you know, double bass, drums and, you know, orchestras and all the shit that's flying around you in 3D space, you know, this is the, the one tool you want to use to give it that little more edge so it cuts right through the wall of sound that surrounds you. It's a great great piece of gear and it's very versatile. Use it on drums, use it on guitars, use it on anything and anyone, particularly anyone. That was Chris from the studio working on Rhapsody's upcoming album The Dolby Atmos Experience. See you there.